Hi everyone, Gary Francion for The Abolitionist Approach. Some people maintain that veganism is elitist. It will come as no surprise to you that I disagree. The source of this position is that vegan food is expensive. Not everyone can afford it, and so therefore to say that veganism is a moral imperative is elitist because it's unfair to those people who can't afford to buy uh, expensive vegan food. But the problem with that position is that it assumes that what vegan food is or what vegans uh, have to eat, the expensive processed vegan you know, meat substitutes and other forms, other, other sorts of, uh, of food that one finds at uh, expensive health food stores or uh, particular sorts of, uh, of, of large markets. And I mean, I don't eat that stuff. It's got a lot of salt and it's, and it's very low in nutritional value. As far as it's concerned, the, the whole foods diet of fruits, vegetables, grains, beans, seeds, are things that you know you can get just about anywhere and they're invariably less expensive than animal products. So this idea that it's expensive to be a vegan is simply wrong. It is not as a factual matter. You can get the what you need to be a vegan just about anywhere. Uh, for many years I lived uh, in a part of New York that was at the time not fashionable at all and there were really no shops around. There was one tiny little grocery store at the corner and it, did, it had very, very little fresh food, but, you know, I was able to pick up um, a bag of rice and a can of beans, and it was fine. Um, and, you know, you can get that sort of thing just about anywhere. So this idea that veganism is elitist because you have to go to expensive stores and spend lots of money on processed vegan food is simply wrong. Uh, and, and I would say also that there are problems uh, in the United States, for example, with people living in urban areas where there aren't places that have a, a, a fresh food or a great deal of fresh food and that's a problem uh, and we need to address that problem but that's a problem that is different from whether or not vegan food is available even in uh, uh, our urban areas. I am presently in Newark, New Jersey right now which is a very poor city but even where I am right now I can walk out and I can go to a number of small shops and I could buy rice, I could buy beans, I could buy other vegan foods uh, and I would spend less money than I would spend if I went to a fast food restaurant and bought fast food uh, uh, for my family. So, you know, the, the, you know, there are problems with, with what we call food deserts and they should be addressed so that people in urban areas can have greater access to fresh food. But you can get vegan food just about anywhere. It's invariably cheaper than animal food. So this idea that, well, you know, veganism, to be a vegan requires that you spend lots and lots of money is simply, as a factual matter, false. Uh, so, you know, and, and if there's anything which is elitist, it is the idea that our taste preferences or our palate pleasure or fashion sense or whatever justifies our imposing suffering and death on another sentient being. That is a very elitist idea. And so the next time someone says to you that veganism is elitist, ask them what they mean. Because what they're going to tell you is that, that to be a vegan means you've got to go to these expensive food stores and spend lots of money on processed uh, vegan food. And the answer is, no, you don't. It's not good for you to consume that stuff. And it's certainly not necessary. To be a vegan means you eat fruits, vegetables, beans, seeds, grains, things like that, which you can get anywhere and that are invariably less expensive than animal foods. For more on veganism, go to howdoigovegan.com. For information about abolition and abolitionist theory, go to abolitionistapproach.com. And please, if you want, uh, join us on An Animal Rights, the Abolitionist Approach Facebook page, where I and my wonderful moderators will engage and discuss issues with you. Thank you for listening.